Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're basically picking up right where we left off. I just about got to the freighter until this dude um, wants me to help repair him, but I need to give him a metal plating, and the game doesn't let me get out of here to make the metal plating to give him. It's a really stupid setup. So, yeah, he can just piss off. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Uh, so, yeah, we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Um, we are now going to the crash site of what we assume is Nada's old freighter. So we're getting a little bit of history uh, behind Nada and Polo. And there is the freighter there. So let's go ahead and do our landing sequence. Okay, this is a toxic planet, so we need to switch a couple things around on our exosuit. We do have our toxic uh, stuff here, but I'd like to move it over by our hazard protection for the extra bonuses. Wait, what did I just do? No, I want to move, not uninstall. There we go. Okay. All right. So those keys that we got in the last episode, um, these thingies here, uh, we need to unlock this. Now, if we had not found that other freight freighter, then my guess is we would have tried to open this. It would have said you need the encryption keys, and then we would have gone around and gotten them out of the, you know, the containers. But since we have them all, hopefully we have enough. Let's see what happens. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. Read log. One in log encryption key. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically. Not attacking, just watching. Time passed, and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now. We thought we had been forgiven. No, we thought we had been forgiven, but we were wrong. Okay, another log encryption key. Ship logs requested. Accessing. I just gave you a key. Got a, how many do you, do you need? What the heck, man? They struck as one. An attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. What? Only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end to their credit. They concealed me with their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Log integrity compromise. Patching. Encryption key. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nana to leave. I told them what we already know, what we already know, all of us, we are not alone. Even if I die, Nana will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me, a thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. And does that update the quest? Yes, it does. Salvage site. is not one shuttle remains. Salvage materials from the wreck. No, that's what we just did. is not one shuttle. Wait. Yeah, objective complete. Locate the crash freighter. Okay, we've done that. Now what? Maybe bulk of the Shira Ia salvage materials. From the wreck. New mission. Is that what this is right here? The in unsalvageable unsalvageable wreck. It began with an idea, a simulation. The Corvax wished to know what would happen to the universe in the future. They wanted to confirm 
what had occurred in the past. We were part of their great effort, delivering vast quantities of nanite clusters across the galaxy. The simulation shows me my child as if they are alive, taking their first steps for a second time. It shows me their death. It shows my own. I ask the Corvax to stop this. They refuse. The Corvax shut down their machine. The experiment is over. They claim that the universe is multiversal, cyclical, without origin or endpoint, at least based on available data. In some worlds, there might be Corvax, in some, no Gek. In some, we never existed, or if we did, we destroyed our world long before our other galactic powers could find them. I do not like the tone with which the core. Okay, so now it says we've completed that. Now it says to salvage the materials from the wreck again. Log damage, parcel records available. Read log. The crews speak of mutiny. Ha, huh, let them try. Let them see how I earned my position as the greatest commander. This transcription note. Uh, transcription note. Automatic audio login recorded. Gunfire. Mixed screaming. We hung their heads from the lamps above the canteen. Everyone has seen them. Everyone is complicit now. There is no turning back. Where next? The whole universe awaits. Okay, so that objective's complete. Now what do we do? Is that it? Activate the hollow terminus, speak to Null. Bring news of Apollo to Nana. Okay. Um since we have completed that part of the quest. Do we did we use up all those little thingamadoodles? No, we still have one left. Um, my guess is that this is back to the normal loot. So let's confirm that and maybe see if we can get a salvage frigate module or a bulkhead upgrade or something like that. Yeah, we'll take the poop. We're going to need it for farming at some point, which we're going to get started on fairly soon here. Hot ice. That's a little bit of an oxymoron. Hot ice. What is the deal with hot ice? I want to know what the deal is with hot ice. Is that like dry ice? Because dry ice can't burn you. <coughs> Unstable gel. Yeah, so these, okay, so these freighters are back to normal. And that was just part of that quest that we did. There we go. Cargo bulk kit. Nice. Oh, yes. Salvage rig module. Yeah, baby. That's the grand prize there. And a multi tool expansion slot. Beautiful. We'll take it all. Heat capacitor. Okay. Radiation protection. Yeah, we got some good stuff out of that, man. Salvage rigor module, cargo bulkhead thingamadoodle, and an exosuit expansion. I'll take them. Very good. All right, are we still working in this system? Doesn't look like it. Let's get off this planet. Transmit the freighter's log to null use. Oh, yeah, use C to locate all the terminals. All right, looks like it is back on this planet here. Incoming frequency. Oh, did, by Artemis? What? It's Artie! I exit escape, traveler. I escaped! One moment I was running from them, the star shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. And the next I was here. Well, wherever here is. This new world has a sun, has light. It's beautiful, but I think anything would be beautiful after the months spent in that awful place. I'm ready to get going now, though. We'll do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If you bring this star chart to a nearby station, I'm sure we'll find each other soon. Artemis is unaware of everything. They do not know that they died, that I made a choice to bind their soul within a simulated solar system. 
I'm not gonna... Did we... Did we get... We just got scanned, but okay. I'm not gonna lie to him. I'm, uh, I, that's not how I roll. I'm gonna tell him the truth. And if he doesn't like it, well... <laughs> but how do I tell them their world is not real? Even if I saved them from death, I took their dreams away from them. They are lim they are limited to a single system and will never meet a kindred soul. Oh no, that's me talking to myself, right? Um, present positives, say you're sorry, be direct. Let's just let's just lay it out on the line, man. I tell Artemis everything from the moment I discovered their grave to the final upload of their soul to a simulated solar system. And by the way, thanks for making me have to decide that too. Appreciate it. Artemis thinks I'm joking at first. I will never forget how their smile falters. After a few more questions, they tell me they need some time to think about what I have said. In the communication. Okay. Well, interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go talk to Noel. A rare object in deep space. Oh, one of those guys. Okay. We can't do anything with him. We already tried to shoot him in the eye once and didn't do us any good. It only does his damages, so. Space worm. Space larva. Let's talk to Noel. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. Share the discoveries. I tell Noel of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where sen the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I chose I choose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if you did not wish it. If it did not wish it. Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. Okay. I had to reread that for a second. The freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. Oh, that's cool. There are countless such places within our multiverse. Dimensions where things happen differently, but there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Um, ask about Alice. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. They, that they annihilated an entire universe? Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. You think? After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. Um, ask how they know. Ask what went wrong. Uh, yeah, what went wrong? It was the travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I, yeah, we, you, dude, I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. What'd you do, eat a forbidden apple or something? Uh, but something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Not a noses, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with him. I will translate. Wow, this is getting interesting. This is this is as far as I've ever been uh, in the storyline, and I've never watched anybody else play it, um, play the storyline uh, this far along. So this is all brand new territory, and uh, I've always been fascinated with the concept of parallel universes, you know, and. Um, and multiverse and all that kind of thing. I think that's a, I think that stuff is cool. Whether it's actually real or not, who knows? But it's fun to speculate. It's fun to you know read books and watch movies and play video games that include that kind of stuff. We already checked this planet for storm crystals. I think we did when we first landed here. There weren't any, so let's just skedaddle. Share news of Noel's plan with Nada. All right. Hey, Nada, guess what? I found your ship. And I know stuff about you now. 
Viking entities have long history, conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Not await, as if expecting me to ask something else. Um, I don't care about the Viking, I want to know about no. Missing entity is not as missing as they believe. Nada is not a traveler entity, but Nada is not young and foolish. A missing entity has their beliefs, their project. So be it. Okay. Um, what the hell did he just say to us? Hey, we got some Quicksilver. Look at that. Okay, speak to a Viking cartographer. That's all you got to say to us, man? Missing entity is welcome in our home, but they do not desire it. So it goes. Who the hell is he talking about? Missing entity. Is he talking about Noel? I don't know. I'm, I'm a lot confused now. Missing friend has you do their business. Help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not just follow instructions with your eyes not open. Ask for Atlas Station coordinates. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's actually go to an Atlas Station. We haven't been to one by... Um, uh, we haven't deliberately gone to one is what I'm trying to say. We did go to that one during the quest. Please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Okay, can you also tell me about Vikings and stuff? Yeah, ask about the Viking. Big grumpy fellows. <laughs> they do not like friendly little geck. Perhaps they are wise. Like all beings, you will see their value if you get to know them. That's all you're going to tell me? Okay. Um, alrighty then. Interesting stuff. We need to go up here. So I think what we'll do is... Here, let me look at this. It, it doesn't say we have to go to a specific space station. It just says a space station. Okay. So why don't we go back to... Space stations. Let's go to Ezekiel's because that is a Viking. Well, it, it, that's where it actually does want us to go, so never mind. We do have a specific station to go to. Cartographer Ondo. Gra. The Viking. With and with the. Okay. Probe Viking lore. As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Knoll's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Gra, pathetic interloper, prying into Viking secrets, cowardly spy, I should kill Gra. But, traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. What? I'm almost max level. What the hell are you talking about? Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words, Gra. Gra. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're... I know we have to do it for the quest. I'm just messing, but... We are, all, like, max... Pretty much max, aren't we? With Viking? Actions at standing. Viking. We are a commandant, and the next rank is Templar. In middle, add guidance to log. Huh. Okay. I've only killed three walkers. I thought I've killed way more than three walkers. Hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So now they want us to go. Excuse me. Yeah, I want us to go do this. Let's, um, let's look at these ships here. That's a class A. I don't care about that one. That's class C. Don't care about that one. Go find Herc. 
and learn the words meditate or learn or whatever the words are hurt. hurt. So we want to go to there. This is the planet that has all of my unwanted uh, emergency signals. Yeah, so we can keep firing ships, which I'll probably go back to at some point. It's pretty decent money, but the more important thing is that's the best way that I know of anyways to get expansion slots for the ship, the bulkhead upgrade thingies. Right. I'm pretty sure this is a heat planet. Ported planet, yeah. Back to exosuit. Oh, we already got our heat stuff on. Okay. Hey, at least the light works on this planet. Viking word for honor. Viking word for must. Let's talk to Herc. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of Viking warriors. Spills from the marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory. Speak in Viking. I begin to speak and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. None hamper the path towards that word as the sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so shall it come to be. This is the Viking. This the Viking swear. I call out once more, my throat harsh and grasping, the sound guttural, the words spill forth, summoned by the power of the monolith. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Viking shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. All right, so the Vikings are on our side. As the words fade, their lines still resonating in my vision. I find myself in possession of an ancient tomb. New item recorded catalog, Viking tablet. Prove your honor to the Viking. Oh, you want me to fight these boys? All right. Get out of here. Okay, that took a little bit longer than it usually takes me to do all that, but we got it done, and we didn't die. That's the important thing. And we got a sentinel nest, boundary map. Did we get two boundary maps? Three boundary maps. Wow. Did I already have some in my inventory? I don't remember. Did we get two sentinel brains? Yes, we did. Okay. All right, Viking. So hopefully that proved to you that uh, I can put the herd on the Sentinels. What are we supposed to do? Return the artifact to the cartographer. Oh, that's this thing here, right, that we got? Yeah, Viking tablet. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, you put that mountain there. No one wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could. Of the Atlas, the creator of all universes, the Sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the Travelers, who committed some unforgivable act long ago. Reveal the Viking tablet. Gra, you have communed, communed with Herc. You are worthy, interloper. So why are you kill still calling me an interloper? Uh, make your request. Be bold. Ask about the Atlas. Ask about the Sentinels. Ask about the Travelers. Uh, I want to know more about Atlas. Gra, do not speak that name. Only pathetic beings worship Liar Atlas. Oh, you guys don't care much for Atlas, huh? 
Ask about pathetic beans. No, ask why Atlas is a liar. Any bean that claims to be a god is not one, interloper. Progenitor Herc knew this well. Battle brother Nal did not. They died for a false dream. The Viking tells me of their history, of wars with the Gek, of Korvax slaves in tyrannous empires. The Viking suggests that if Atlas is a god, then it is insane. I'm about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blink endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about 16. I gzit gra. What? What? Gzit? Interloper. What face are... The Viking is visibly pained by my mention of the number, staring at their terminal as if they have seen it for the first time. Their words slur, a strange sound entering every sentence. Leave. Patterns in time. Speak to a Viking cartographer. Okay. So now, what's up? Speak to him again? Oh, speak to a Corvax cartographer. Ooh. Okay. Corvax. All right, you guys. Well, I think we are about out of time in this episode. What I am going to do, though, before I let you go, is I'm going to go back to my freighter. And I'm going to process all of my expeditions. But I'm not, I'm not going to show all of it this time. I know at some point, you know, um, probably a large percentage of you are going to probably start getting a little bit tired of seeing uh, every last little detail of that. Um, so uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll basically just show you the end rewards that I get for each expedition. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, this, this was a, a really bad expedition. Limium and 291,000 credits and that's it for a very long expedition and damaged ships so I guess they can't all be good that was terrible hopefully this one will be better okay this one was significantly better we got some high-end um, materials there and we earned uh, almost 900,000 that was a combat mission there okay let's try this one next Okay, we didn't, I don't think we got any money from this one, but we got a, some decent stuff, though. That was a discovery mission anyway, so. Is that it? Okay. Um, I don't, is this mission still out and about? Nope, it's done. Yeah, this, this one didn't go so great either. Still better than that first one, though. Okay, let's try this last one here. Okay, this one was okay. We got all that stuff. And let's see, how much money did we make? 1.1 million. Yeah, I mean, overall, these these none of these expeditions were phantasmagorical. A couple of them were mediocre, and then, like, three of them were, like, really bad. So... Anyway, like I said, I guess, you know, you win some and you lose some. Uh, I'm going to have some repairing to do. So that ship is critically damaged. Uh, we still... Um, this one has four of the five positive attributes now, which is nice. Those ships are damaged, so it looks like we have three to repair. Those are both mining vessels, and that is a combat vessel. Alright. Just want to see what missions we got at the moment. Okay, these are all two star missions. Um, that's a there's a couple twenty two hour ones. Uh, not too terribly difficult. Okay, well what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna get uh, these three frigates repaired and get everybody out and about on more missions. And incidentally, we still I still need to uh, I still need to find more frigates. We have a total of, let's see, 9, 18, 19. So we can still hire 11 more frigates. So I'm going to probably spend some time off camera 
uh, looking for some more frigates and well no you know what yeah I, i'm gonna spend a little bit of time off camera but i'm not gonna spend a ton of time because i think what we're gonna do in the next episode is we're going to um we're gonna do some uh exploring and start moving towards the center uh, of the of the galaxy and have you know have a couple of explorations episodes because like i said i've spent a lot of time in this area and I'm just kind of itching to get out and explore and see some cool new stuff. Uh, so that is the tentative plan for the next episode. All right, you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And I want you to know that all of you guys are freaking awesome. See ya.